Hey everybody, Ben from the Herbstead. Thank you for coming by. Today I'm going to show you our process that we are going through of turning more of our lawn into deep mulch bed and for a bunch of reasons, including no mowing and preparing the ground for future growing space. Check out, see how the process goes. We're going to use this pile and do something just like we did back here. And we are gonna turn this yard, lawn, into space that we don't have to mow anymore. All right, so the idea here is you kind of overlap, just like puzzle pieces here. We pushed up underneath this grass, so that way we can get as much of the grass coverage as possible. All right, so that is that session of cardboarding. And we will get back to it once we have a new stock of cardboard. But next step would be to put that mulch the mulch that's on the left side. The idea here by adding this mulch to the ground is a couple fold. First, we like the look of it. We would rather this than the grass. Uh, more importantly, we would like to encourage the microbiome, microbiology in the dirt here, the lawn dirt, to be healthier, more robust, full of carbon materials. Um, and we would like to encourage more bug life to come up in here and break down all of this material that's on top, um, slowly aerating the soil, increasing its life uh, abundance, and in the long term, setting up this area for potential future garden beds. Uh, it might not be this year, probably won't be next year, maybe not even the year after that, that those things have all taken place. Um, but in the years to come, this will be more fertile soil than it was before this. And that's really the hope. So, that will be in the years to come. But for now, there's at least the immediate payoff of being able to look out and not see nappy grass, which we largely neglect to mow uh, regularly. And instead, we'll get to see mulch, which we're happy about. I'm not joking. You need to check this banana pepper plants out everything else barren failing looking awful and then look at this still loaded full it's a little dry needs some water but that puppy is full of banana peppers and there's new buds what the heck and don't forget to like and subscribe and share us with a friend if you know anyone that's doing their own home setting journey we'd love to connect with them share some encouragements, maybe hear some encouragements from them, and uh, yeah, ultimately just work on towards the goal. Thanks everyone.